Yo, welcome back to another Twisted Fate mid video. Listen, what is the difference between last season's Twisted Fate and this one? Pretty much nothing. There hasn't been any kind of changes to him, but I want to see if, well, if he's still good, if he's going to get destroyed by the Talon mid. Oh, wait. That is not going to work. Uh, yeah. Let's just see. Wait, is it that talent? Well, who is mint? Kaisa? What the hell is this? Uh, okay, well, preseason, what can we say? I'm sure. So, what's the difference between this season and last season? Nothing. There hasn't been any good, like, item changes for Twisted Fate, in my opinion. Um, there isn't anything that is buffed or nerfed for him. Everfrost is still the best into, like, Ionian's Rapid Fire. Um, is something stronger against him now? I wouldn't say that either because like Shadow Queen is not gonna be anything that kind of makes TF worse uh, Even if you face them. So yeah, we're just gonna see how it feels. You all know I do play Twisted Fate uh, What is it? Three days turned off uh, Yeah, you guys know I play a lot of people. So I like him. He's still one of my favorite champions um, He's the one that kind of got me to well master elo most people think I only played mouse from, uh, to masters, but that was not the case, guys. We did play a lot of Twisted Fate. We got a lot of wins with them. Um, Malza did, of course, do his part as well. But I do want to have Twisted Fate in my pool in for next season, and I want to add some champions. But Twisted Fate has always been my first kind of mid, mid love, if that makes sense. Um, especially being a Dopa fan, so. That missed. Unlock. So, pretty much Twisted Fate playstyle, guys. All you have to do is farm well, don't end, and then you look for R's and they get kill, uh, get picks. You don't want to look for, like, heavy trades, meds. You don't want to do anything at all, to be fair. You only want to trade if there's, like, a free trade presenting itself. Um, so if she walks up with, like... Kind of missing all her spells. Yeah, boy, yeah. Um, that's when you want to kind of go for trades or stun cards, whatever. If you're getting a gank, whatever. Or else you just want to farm. You just want to uh, like sit back, relax. Um, throw your spells at minions pretty much. Land some up on her and then you use... Oh, what is this? I don't die, I don't die. I don't die. I don't have to use flesh. But my wave is in a bad spot. Annoying gank, man. I, I thought he was gonna start blue, no? I guess he start. I yeah, he did start blue. But kind of awkward pathing. Ooh. Yeah, he should not. He should not have showed himself mid. We should be fighting this. Remember me? Remember me? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna recall. That's why you don't gank mid and show yourself and show where you're patting to. He showed himself patting to red. Hey, look who's here, my boys. Thanks. Um, let's just build into this, get that. This is not bad because, again, Lost Chapter is good. We could have gotten Ionians, but I feel like... I feel like every time I do, even though we get our cooldowns faster, we lack a tiny bit of damage to get, like, the free shoves. So this is not bad. Again, perfect Twisted Fate gameplay right now. We haven't really done anything terrible. We used a Flash Ignite there and got a kill. Not bad. We can get um, our items a little bit faster. Yuck. A lot of people complain, uh, or not complain, but they say Twisted Fate is a hard champ. I would agree. But the hardness, like, he's not hard in terms of, like, mechanics. His skills are pretty basic. I'm just gonna reason get boots here, or Lash up there. Uh, his skills are pretty basic. Like, there's not too much into his kits. You have Q, you have W, you have... 
you know, you throw cards. But to master the champion is very hard. Like, his mastering is more macro and game knowledge more than, like, mechanics and just pure mid skills. I guess you have to have good lane management and um, know, like, when to freeze, when to push, when to reset and have, like, good timings and stuff. Uh, which you kind of learn when you play him more and more. But um, the best thing about Twisted Fate is you kind of improve on your macro. So if you guys are looking to improve macro, play Twisted Fate. Because this guy is born to spot push and just overall be annoying on the side lanes. And then always be able to group back mid. You don't, you can go TP and your R for even more pressure. Or you just go like I do. I go Ignite and then I have my R for uh, like pressure when I split. So I could always try to like set up ganks with my ignite so we do more damage because this guy lacks damage um, in terms of like two versus twos. But then again, most mids usually do go TP these days, but we don't need it with uh, with uh, with his R. But we have to play the lane much much better if we don't want to lose against the like the uh, TP players. If that makes sense. So that's why I always say Twist Fate is a hard champion to, to master, but easy to play, pretty much. And the matchups are very important on this guy. Like, you need to know the matchups, or else you will just go O10 every game. Which I see a lot of players do. They're like, I, tw I play Twist Fate, but I can't, like, not die. I'm like, yeah, you have to practice. And now we just literally free shove, or uh, we free push, and then look for pressure on the side lanes. Even if we don't gank it, like, we ha we can do like this and just try to put pressure and see how the enemy players play. Are they backing off? Are they not? Are they still going for it? Well, then we can R. If they back off, well, then we're just putting pressure and uh, making them at least miss CS or whatever. And then, it, and then if this happens, like a 3 versus 2, we could always join in, like, to make it 3 versus 3. Or if they dive and stuff. That's why it's always hard or bad to dive um, when enemy team has to his fate because you can always join in the fight and turn it pretty much. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Not sure where Kais is. Mm, I want to get my Onion Boots, I guess. Uh, she reset it. I could have gotten a plate, but my timing is going to be a little bit off. So hopefully it doesn't fall. And we can just get it next next wave. Ah. Uh, unlucky. That's okay. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we are pretty strong. We do have, like, almost our core items, which is, like, Everfrost into Ionians to make... Ooh. So this is why you don't go for the 3 versus 3s pretty much. Or uh, 3 versus 2, especially if it's like a losing. I mean, it was looking... Ooh. Yeah, this wave is pretty bad. I thought it was going to shove. I'm going to get the plate as well, because it's going to fall to the turret. Arminius, if I don't... Yeah, I mean, the fight was looking very good for my team. And then I just come in and clear up, uh, clean up pretty much. Perfect. This is why Twisted Fate is annoying, guys. Like, imagine if I didn't R. I guess, I think my bot just dies. Two, two for zero. But then we just come in, clean up, and get pretty much two kills. Uh, and Brand gets one, so we get three for one, pretty much. And I guess they're East Tilted now. And ping Kai'Sa. But Kai'Sa can't really do anything about that. And I always say, if you are a good Twisted Fate, or if you want to be a good Twisted Fate, every R should be an assist or a kill. Pretty much. Like, you don't want to have bad R's. <gasps> no, Ooh, I got it. So if you notice, you do a lot of R's and you don't get anything for it, or you just panic R, you don't know why you're just pressing it because your team pings it. 
then uh, yeah, look into your gameplay. You have to improve on the, those R's. The R is literally the win con every game. I'll kill this guy. Never mind. Okay, I'm just gonna defend my my players here by walking with them here. <clears throat> we didn't get anything out of that, but it's fine. We came there for at, for at least pressuring if something was gonna go down. Talon was not even here. Uh, we could bait the two versus two. It was very obvious uh, Talon was here, the way she walked up. That's okay. I'm baiting a little bit. It's all in the card. Uh, I want to get this plate, but I'm also a bit scared of the Talon. Now when Odir is not here as well. Ah, uh, she's resetting. It's fun. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Rampage. Could I have gone for this guy instead? Maybe I should have. Could have been better. I feel like uh, my my Jasso was good enough. That's not bad. I should have helped Brandt. I think we could have uh, killed. And Jasso could have probably used two versus one of those. It's my bad. It's, it's my bad, but it's not terrible. Like, the outcome, at least. It would have been worse if we didn't get anything. And we started for that, but... Two for one. We'll take it. Um, I'll go bot here, I guess. Jasso could go mid. I think they could smash Kaisa. She's farming pretty well, but I'm not sure about this pick. Doesn't look the strongest... I'm kind of scared of Kai'Sa these days because I play a lot of TFT, and if you guys have played TFT, Kai'Sa one is literally OP on that on that game mode, but she's not that strong here. She's pretty. Ooh. An enemy has been slain. I mean, now we are pretty strong. I could literally go for heavy trades, and I don't think she can uh, do anything about it. Not uber clean, but it works. Yeah, I'm backing off. Uh, I mean, the reason I kind of kited back was because my auto attack was... I threw my auto attack and I then W'd. So I was kind of trying to walk out of turret range to... Because I was going to flash back in, but... Didn't want to take another free turret shot. Uh, kind of hard to explain my thought process there, but it was okay. It wasn't the cleanest, but it was good. Now we go for Zonias, so this is pretty much the core. Don't mind if I do. Let's go like this. This is pretty much the core. You go rapid fire, you just want to be a CC bot, try to get long range stuns. Uh, you have your Everfrost as well to like keep on the CC. And then we split push, pretty much. This is what we do. And now it's just going to be easier to kill or get the Kai'Sa. I can't restaff our buddy. He wins these. I've seen Trinamere win these. Nice. He he has her. And now we split push because the rest of the team is top. So he's gonna lose his turret here, or at least a lot of minions. 
a lot of XP. Maybe I should do a macro guide on Twisted Fate. What do you guys say? Just to know when to R and when not to R. Listen, guys, thank you so much for watching. I mean, very short game, but you guys can... I mean, I hope you guys saw the power of Twisted Fate. If you could just farm well and not end. Um, a lot of, like, room for, how can I say, picks for free. And there's not much enemy team can do about it. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.